Are you a mechanical detailer that's frustrated using 2D dimensioning tools with 3D models? Do you spend more time trying to put your dimensions where you want them than you did building your 3D model in the first place? Do you dimension complex isometric drawings in paper space because you weren't taught how to dimension in model space? Do your paper space dimensions sometimes end up with inaccurate dimension values? Have you ever had to redimension the same point several times just to get the dimension in the right place or the right text orientation? Maybe you have an automatic dimensioning tool or spool sheet generator that puts some of the dimensions in the wrong plane for viewing and you just leave them because it's too difficult to adjust them or perhaps you just don't know how to adjust them. Maybe you're using the distance command to handwrite your dimensions on paper drawings. Or worst of all, maybe you're turning in your drawings with no dimensions on them at all. Real World CAD, in conjunction with ASVIC Engineering and CAD Avenue, have bundled a unique and robust 3D dimensioning tool available only in the MetQ software suite. With as few as three point selections, you can place the dimension line anywhere in 3D space. If you don't like the plane the dimension appears in, simply type the letter R on the command line and choose the angle that suits you. When you dimension in 3D space, there's no need to change the dimension to an oblique angle, no more need to set the oblique angle for your annotation text, and no more erasing dimension lines because they aren't what you expected. If the dimension text appears mirrored or upside down, simply type the letter M for mirror or F for flip on the command line to manipulate the text to the correct orientation. There's no limit to how many times or in what combinations the text line and the text can be manipulated. You decide when you're satisfied with the dimension appearance. Now let's place the dimensions for the hole. First select the two points, select the dimension line position, correct the text orientation, and rotate the dimensions to the proper plane. Not satisfied with the line position? Just type the letter N for new at the command line and move the dimension to the correct position. Now we'll correct the redirection of the text and we're finished. We'll do the same thing for the remaining dimension. As you can see there's no more erasing dimension lines because they aren't where you expected them to be. No more drawings with incomplete, inaccurate, or missing dimensions. No more endless manipulation of the UCS. In fact, with our tool, we guarantee you will never have to use the UCS command to dimension a 3D isometric drawing. One final feature we haven't explored yet is a linear aligned toggle. If the items to be dimensioned are not on the axis you want, simply select one point for the dimension and pull a phantom line in the direction for the other end of the dimension axis. Then select two points for dimensioning and the point for the dimension line. Adjust the dimension text and orientation, then simply enter L on the command line to toggle between linear dimension and an aligned dimension. When you're satisfied with the dimension, press enter and you're finished. Let's revisit the lavatory header we saw at the beginning of the video. As you can see, the vent line is sloped up, but with this tool, all we need to do is select the fitting focal points and the dimension line is perfectly aligned with the pipe. No more endless fiddling with the UCS command and trying to decide what type of dimension you need, only to have your CAD engine decide it for you. You can dimension nearly any pipe run as fast as you can pick the points. You can see that this part of the header is at a 45 degree angle to the rest of the pipe. The procedure is the same, just pick the two points and select the dimension line location to finish. The last dimension will use the same procedure. Finally, we'll adjust the last text orientation of this last dimension and we're done. It's just that easy. Let's finish this demonstration by fixing the dimensions your auto dimensioning tool may have left out or placed incorrectly. First we'll add the missing dimension. All we need to do is pick the two endpoints for the dimension place the dimension line and we're done. Now we'll erase the two incorrectly placed dimension lines and use the 3D dimensioning tool to finish the job. As usual, we only need to pick three points for each dimension and we're finished. The 3D dimensioning tool uses your CAD engine's native dimensioning command. This means that if you want to further adjust your dimensions text, dimension style, or the arrowheads, you can just use the tools provided with your CAD engine. Whether you're an engineer using MetQ for component design, a piping detailer using MetQ for system design, spool sheet generation, and final installation, or a plumbing detailer using MetQ for everything from system layout and coordination all the way to the as-built drawings, you'll find this dimensioning tool to be a tremendous time saver. Now you can spend more time optimizing your design and less time figuring out how to dimension it. That's good for you, good for your clients, and most of all, good for the bottom line. 
The 3D dimensioning tool was developed by Real World CAD for the mechanical detailing industry. At Real World CAD, we believe you shouldn't need a degree in software engineering to produce CAD drawings that are accurate, legible, and completed on time. The 3D dimensioning tool is available only in the MakeQ software suite and AviCAD, which is now available from cadavenue.com.